at first when I saw this episode and was watching it, I couldn't get over the fact that there was a lot of waterworks in this episode. I honestly did not expect tears from just about everybody. Uh, it was just kind of messed up when I was watching it in the finale. Like, this finale was just really sad overall, but I'm glad things turned around in a better way. Warning! The following video may include rage, disappointment, sighs, and fan captions, which basically mean me getting excited over certain moments for characters of the episode will review. You may laugh or cringe at any given moment, however, I do not care if you criticize. However, I do hope you enjoy regardless. <sighs> this episode, man. Overall, I gotta say, I enjoyed it. It was great. I, I don't even know... Like, I, I'm on season 3 now. I don't even know if it's going to happen. But this episode was definitely, definitely worth it. Like, it was... At first, you know, it was just a lot of, uh, I guess, Kato and uh, Tomoya time. Like, it was just them going on their date. She explained that 20% of the reason was because she wanted to finish the date. 30% was to kind of cheer him up. But the fifty percent of the date was to have him kind of like realize that he could still go on without Utaha and Entity in the circle. And honestly, it's true you could, but for him it was very difficult. And we saw that in the episode. He was really trying to, I guess, have Kazu kind of motivate him, trying to get him in better spirits. You know, it it was it was really difficult. But by the end of, like, the first few, like, I don't want to say ten minutes, Tomoya's attitude changes. And it's basically just gun-ho about what going on with it. And I enjoyed it. I definitely did enjoy seeing that little date, uh, how he kind of feels like he does have to make it up. Considering what he did last season, um, leaving... <laughs> leaving... Kato for Eddie out uh, for Utaha, which I can understand. I I would do the same, but he feels the obligation to just kind of continue, you know, being with her and like you know trying to have as much fun. He even gives her the same hat that when they first met. And to her, it's special. It's like it's it's the same, but it's not identical. You know, it's like it's and this one's different. And it almost seemed as though Kato's feelings were kind of like showing. I feel like she wanted to confess. But I, I felt like their time was well. It was well spent. You know, it was kind of cool to see that. But what had me surprised was more than anything, having Eddie and Utaha being in this episode for the amount of time that they were in. It felt like... After the few, first few minutes, like, Kato's gone. And now it's them. And it, that part of the episode was the best, I think. That epi that part, excuse me, was really just kind of... was funny. It was a moment that I wanted to see for so long. And overall enjoyable. Like, it was... It was interesting how editing and Utaha were just kind of like, you know, discussing how they could go to first class and you know yada 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 and when Tomia shows up they're both kind of like surprised like oh no we'll get you know is he still mad at us he hasn't forgiven us but Tomia says look I'm cheering you guys on you guys are great I want you guys to be godlike you know pretty much I, I, I'm supporting you no matter what you guys could do this don't be sucked up by Akane and in return they're like look you know, we thought you were worried and upset and you don't want to forgive us. But it's like, nah. And I'm going to continue with my project and they support him and they're happy about it. But I think the funniest thing was when Eddie tries to, like, take his glasses and goes tries to go for a kiss. My favorite moment, I fangirled. I watched it over and over and over again. That same part. The part when Utaha kisses Tomoya. Now that was going to happen at some point or another. Like, I felt like it happened too late, but it was the perfect moment to, for it to happen. 
she pretty much says, why can't you let me move on? Why can't you have me forget about you? I, I give up on giving up. I'm utterly yours. You're, my life is in your hands. And I want to say, though, like, when Eddie was going to go for the kiss, we saw Tomoya's foot go back. But when Utah gets all close to him, his leg, and I don't know if you guys noticed, his leg actually goes around hers. Like, he's holding on to her. Like, he's like, I didn't want this, but your body says otherwise. So, it was just a great moment. I really enjoyed. I loved it. I... I wish there was more of that. You know, she was going to go for a second kiss. Eddie interrupts. Their train leaves. It was just funny. And then, at the very end of the episode, we have Izumi showing up. And Tomoya remembering Iori's words. Saying, I already have a place for her to be where she can flourish her talents. And Izumi looks irrecognizable. Like, I don't, I didn't know that was her. But she had a different hairstyle. She looks more mature. And... It almost seemed as though it was setting up for Izumi being part of Blessing Software. Also setting up for a season three, hopefully. I'm just hopeful, you know, I'm just being very hopeful. And at the very end, we have, like, Tomiya trying new glasses. And Kato just laughing at him. And he tries to go with no glasses, which honestly is a better look for him. It really is. But... We had Eddie and Utaha just watching, and then Michiru, who was gone for, like, ever, shows up saying, you know, he's going to have a meeting, so I figured I'd be here. And even Utaha calls her, and it's like, you were missing for, since, like, since the second half of the season. You were, you're like, what are you doing here? You're basically irrelevant now. And I have been wondering that for a long time, like, Michiru, like, what happened? Like, where were you at? We needed you. You could have added some comedy, some good stuff, but she comes in until the very end. Now, that'll be interesting, though. If a season three does happen, I'm hoping that all of these, all of them get back together. Uh, I would like maybe even Iori to be in the group. That would be very interesting. So, I'm just hopeful for that to happen. Not holding my breath, but if it was to end the way it did like this, no more seasons, I'd be okay with it. But I just kind of want to see what happens with everyone in the in the end. Like there is no, I guess, no chapters for the moment. But except for the side stories. But I'm really hoping for a season three. Overall, this this season was good. It was I've been an episode short pretty much, but I enjoyed it. I really did. Um, overall, we had a lot of sweet moments. A lot of a lot of development going on between all the characters uh, uh kato who i don't want to admit has really grown in this uh hated that she cut her hair i said it last week but i i really did enjoy it you know overall this episode this season and the previous season were just phenomenal they were great and but yeah overall i really did enjoy this season i hope for more but guys, that is it for me. I hope you guys enjoy. But as always, please like, comment, subscribe if you enjoy the video. And I will catch you later. I am the king and will not be. I, 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 I am the I am the, I am the king and king king and will not. I, 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 uh, and will not and will not and will not be the, the, the king and king and will not. I, 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 I am the I am the I am the king and king king and will not.